If you have ever tried shooting sitting down, with a wildfowling or in a pigeon hide, you'll know it's not easy. Today we're out with Jean-Paul Godin, known as the seated gun because he shoots from a wheelchair. So how does he manage? The big thing for me is positioning the chair. So whereas if you're a, a stood gun, obviously you've got the ability to sort of turn on the balls of your feet, turn a little bit right, turn left, even spin all the way around. Obviously, the thing is when you're in a chair, you are in a fixed position. I've got a lot of metal work down my left side. So for me, I always make sure I'm angled at 45 degrees to where the birds are being driven so that I've got an angle of literally 180 kill zone, um, which is in reality, my shooting area because after that it should be your next guns or the guns at each side of you it's there it's then their areas i'm also very fortunate because yes i'm in a chair yes i'm uh, you know i had a broken back from a motorbike racing accident but the long and short of it is is that i still have movement um, and i still have my abdominal muscles so for me balancing is a lot easier than if you're sort of up here where that then becomes a problem we're here at beaver castle today sort of leicestershire lincolnshire borders we always come and have our end of season day here. So we've got a team here of nine guns today, guns that we shoot with throughout the season. It's been a busy season this season. So we have, uh, we started here at Beaver. We had an amazing partridge day in October. Uh, we've then spent an awful lot of time in Wales this year. So we've done the Brigands, Dovey, Ridgeway, Betis, Plasdinham. And then we've been up to Yorkshire a couple of times. We've been to Derby a couple of times. We've been down in Swindon, Wiltshire area. So you name it, we've been a bit everywhere. We're here for a 230 bird day today. Predominantly pheasant, although I understand we are gonna have a bit of a partridge drive as the next drive. So it should be a nice mix to the day. First drive was a challenge. The birds were fantastic. It was just a shame that I didn't, um, I wasn't so great with them. <laughs> but you know, drive two, we'll see what we do now. I think that makes up for drive one, James, to be fair. And we took a, a fair few birds on there. So nice pheasants, um, had a nice, uh, certainly a nice left to right, couple of nice um, right to lefts as well, and a couple of overheads. So I think we made up a little bit for the disastrous drive one. I think we're back in the seat, uh, managing to, to do a little bit. So that's what it's all about. Jean-Paul, or JP to his friends, has his own YouTube channel. He covers shooting with a disability and much more. We started the YouTube channel predominantly because we kept getting asked by estates to help and explain where they could improve in regards to not just from a mobility access point of view, but also, you know, um, was it a day that exceeded expectations rather than just met with expectations? It started off really, I have to be honest, as I wouldn't say a gimmick, but as a bit of a hobby type, we'll do it when we've got five minutes to do it. And it's actually ended up now being pretty much like its own standalone business really, because you know we're, we're working with a lot of fantastic brands that are asking us to test equipment. We are doing a lot of gun reviews. We want the channel to be real. Um, there are lots of channels and there are a lot of people out there that can do this, do do this but it's all very fake in my opinion. It, it, you know, it's not, it's not what happens on a day. You know, you've seen today, you know, we're at Beaver Castle, one of the most exclusive, one of the most premier places to shoot in the country and the gator breaks down. That's not their fault. That's mechanical. These things happen, but it's how it's sorted. You know, it, we were still brought to the peg. There's another gator on its way. It hasn't in, it affected our day and we wouldn't know any different. And, and I think that's the key to how a shoot should be run. You know, it should be about what's happening here on the peg, not what's going on behind the scenes. We all know what goes on behind the scenes and the beaters, the drivers, the hosts, the keepers, everybody, the amount of work that these guys put in so that we can enjoy our day is immense. Hats off to those guys. But in the same angle, it's important that as a, as a channel, we also show that things do go wrong. And, you know, I don't hit every bird that I shoot. Um, you know, there are days when I have good days, days when I have bad days, but it's how you, how, you know, what goes on and how you take those days forward. One of Beaver's stalwarts is Big John, who's been part of this shoot for half a century. I'm on my 50th year now. <gasps> on this estate? Yeah. 
Good heavens. Well, changed a bit since then, hasn't it? Just a little bit, yeah. <laughs> For the better? For the better, well. Uh, yes, I would say so. Yeah. How, how has it changed over the years, do you think? Well, from traditional capering up to up to where we are. I mean, when I come over, we used to shoot about I don't know, a couple of thousand now, fifty, sixty thousand. Right. Commercial shooting, so, which is good for the state. I mean, yes. That bungalow top of the hill takes lots of upkeep. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> On to drive three, and JP wants to try out a new gun. Today, I'm going to test a um, new addition to the gun cabinet. So this is a Miracu MK60 High Pheasant, which uh, Beaver's certainly not really the territory where you'd find one of these. Um, it's a fixed choke, 32-inch barrel, uh, full and three-quarter chokes on it. Um, I've had it actually cut down, so it's actually made now uh, for my stock length. So it's a 14 and three-quarters over the 15 and a quarter. Kiki's pad on the back. So yeah, we're gonna give it a go. See how we get on, James. One of the best drives on the estate, this for partridges. I mean, now we're getting later on in the season, it might be a bit, little bit low, but it'll be good. What'll <laughs> come through here, it'll be good birds, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Shot Matt. There's nothing wrong with that gun. <laughs> I've got to remember to take the safety off Big John. Come on. 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 Come on is always going to be slightly daunting because you, you you know you've got an expectation level but of course it helps as well if you don't make rookie mistakes like forgetting to take the safety off but that's because i'm not used to having safeties on the guns i have my safeties removed just because i prefer it that way but um but yeah all in all i have to say very happy jp is passionate about his driven shooting would he recommend the sport for someone with a disability? I think certainly from a wheelchair perspective, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are mobility impaired, whether they be veterans, whether they just be old age, injured, hip replacements, those types of things. And I think this sport isn't the most um, forthright in coming forward and saying, we can do it. Yeah. So I think from um, a point of what I try and do is, you know, is just to show that it can be done and that, you know, you make it whatever you want to make it. And most estates, I think if you talk to them, you ask them and you speak to them and let them know what you need, what you don't need and what assistance you need. All these estates are more than happy to help. Um, you know, they'll get a mule to bring you to your peg. They'll try and position you on something flat, which is difficult because we are in the country. Let's not forget that. Yeah. You know, this is not a, a tennis court or a, you know, an, astro an astro field where it is all flat. So, you know, from all those types of things, you've got to bear that in mind. But generally, the estates are so helpful. I think if you've just asked them the question, I think more people could be involved. It's been a good been a good day to end the season on, really. We've had some great days this season. And, you know, it doesn't get much better than finishing it at probably one of the most beautiful and prestigious estates in the country, Beaver Castle. There are links to Beaver and JP's YouTube channel in the description below. And for more about Maruku guns, go to browning.eu.